in this discussion we are going to start uh, discussing a new concept named as series so the concept of series is one of the fascinating and interesting mind blowing and troubling ideas of mathematics okay so the reason is it involves infinity so it asks if i add infinitely many complex numbers what is going to be the answer is it going to be some fixed complex number or is it going to be infinity so using this concept we will be able to define some new and interesting uh, examples of complex valued functions now these complex valued functions will not only help us in understanding the current ideas and definitions and examples of complex analysis but they will also help us in exploring new ideas and structures of complex analysis so one such example of uh, complex valued function which is uh, one of the interesting and fascinating examples of complex valued functions is riemann zeta function that we define using the concept of series now uh, riemann zeta function is involved in riemann hypothesis so one of the complex problems of mathematics that has troubled mathematicians over the centuries and it is one of the millennium prize problems uh, so in other words if you can solve it you will be able to win 1 million dollars for it and similarly we can define other interesting complex valued functions now let's begin with the definition of uh, series or infinite series to be very precise so let's see some examples so one such example is n plus iota n square so when we take n is equal to 1 it is going to give me the first term of the series when n is equal to 2 it is going to be the second series the second term of the series and up to so on and we can vary n from 1 to infinity and we will be able to get infinitely many terms and this series is basically is about uh, adding all of these complex numbers so this is an infinite sum of complex numbers and uh, we will be interested in, in questions like whether this infinite sum is some finite complex number or is it going to be infinity so our next question is whether this infinite series is a complex number or not okay now so the idea is we are going to use the concept of sequence of partial sums now why sequence of partial sums because it will help us in using our previous knowledge of complex numbers that we have learned so far which includes um, addition of complex numbers okay so it's some basic ideas and some advanced ideas like sequence of complex numbers and uh, the relation between the sequence of complex numbers and the sequence of real numbers and up to so on so our previous knowledge is uh, going to help us in understanding the concept of series if we consider the sequence of partial sums so in other words we are going to associate a sequence with this infinite series and uh exploring and discussing uh, the behavior of this sequence is going to help us in understanding uh, the series the related series of that sequence now let's see how this idea works so for example if we have uh, a series k is equal to 1 to infinity zk and the term of the series are z1 z2 z3 up to so on then we are going to relate a sequence which is the sequence of partial sums with it now uh, of course we know that what is a sequence it's a function from set of natural numbers to complex numbers in our case and uh, so the first term of the series s1 is basically z1 the first term of the series the second term is going to be the sum of the first two terms of the series z1 plus z2 the third term is going to be of course we have guessed it right the sum of the first three terms of the series and of course uh, we can guess now uh, the nth term of the sequence is going to be the sum of the first n terms of this infinite series now why uh, this sequence is going to help us in understanding uh, the convergence or divergence or you know uh, or the behavior of this infinite series or not so the idea is going to be very simple so um as we have seen that the first term is the sum of the first term the second term is the sum of first two terms the third term sum of first three terms and the term sn is the sum of first n terms so as we can guess what is going to happen when n approaches to infinity well of course when n approaches to infinity it means 
that we are adding the first infinitely ter many terms of the series. In other words, when n approaches to infinity, it is going to be exactly the infinite series. So, checking the convergence or divergence of this sequence of partial sums is going to uh, give us answers about the convergence or divergence of this infinite series. Well, when I'm using the word convergence or divergence here, so we haven't defined it formally, but uh, it is just as uh, the, the literal meaning of the words. So, uh, which means whether it, it is going to be some fixed complex number or it is going to be diverge, it is going to be some uh, random, okay, so infinity, for example. If there is a complex number s for which the sequence of partial sum converges to, uh, then uh, which means that when n approaches to infinity, k is equal to 1 to n, zk is going to give us uh, basically the infinite series. Okay, so the rightmost side is going to be the infinite series, and the leftmost side is going to be the sum of that infinite series, and uh, they are equal to the limit of the sequence of partial sum. Okay, now we say that series converges if this s is basically some fixed complex number and s is called the sum of the infinite series and if a series does not converge if we cannot find such s or if the sequence of partial sums is not convergent then we say that the series is divergent or the series diverges okay so uh, so far we have seen uh, one way of checking whether the given infinite series is uh, uh, convergent or divergent okay and of course, uh, uh, in uh, most of the cases, this definition is not very practical. So, and uh, we are going to need some more results, some more, uh, um, in, some more practical uh, results that will be able to help us in uh, fixing the problem or finding the uh, answer whether a given infinite series convergent or divergent. Now, since we are adding infinitely many terms and uh, the question uh, we are interested in is that whether this infinite sum is some finite complex number or infinity. So when we are uh, concerned with such problems then adding or subtracting infinitely many terms are not going to be disturbant. So, in other words, if I subtract the first 100 terms of a series, then it is not going to affect the convergent or divergence of this given infinite series. So, e even if I uh, subtract the first billion terms of given infinite series, then it is not going to be uh, disturbing uh, the convergence or divergence of a given infinite series. Okay? So, uh, in other words, if uh, the series zk where k varies from n plus 1 to infinity where n is any finite number it going it it can be 1 100 million billion trillion it it is some finite number okay so if this series k is equal to 1 n plus 1 to infinity zk if this converges so does the following so zk k is equal to 1 to infinity so in other words if we start from adding the terms from capital N, Z, capital N plus Z, capital N plus 1, up to so on. Okay, so if we start adding the terms after some capital N, then uh, it is, uh, if it is convergent, then the actual series is convergent. Okay? And similarly, if uh, uh, the answer of above series is divergent, then the, the below series is also going to be divergent. Now, how to check the convergence of a series? So, we have defined it. Of course, uh, we, uh, we have defined it using uh, uh, the concept of sequence of partial sums. But as I've said earlier, that it is, it is not a very practical uh, uh, definition. So, it is not a very practical way of checking the convergence or divergence of a given infinite series. So, how to check the convergence of a series? Well, uh, of course, we have seen the convergence and divergence of a series of real numbers. So, one such idea is that we are going to relate uh, the series of complex numbers with series of real numbers. 
okay so this connection will help us in checking the convergence or divergence of series of complex numbers now this theorem this next result is going to be a bridge between uh, the convergence of uh, complex series and uh, the convergence or divergence of real series or series of real numbers now if we have uh, uh, zn is equal to xn plus iota yn and s is equal to u plus iota v and uh, if the uh, complex series where the terms of the series are xn plus iota yn and uh, uh, this uh, n varies from 1 to infinity uh, if this is uh, equal to some fixed complex number s which is equal to u plus iota v then this happens if and only if some of the real parts in other words xn where n approaches to 1 to infinity is equal to the real part of s and uh, the sum of uh, uh, the imaginary parts yn so this is going to be equal to v which is the imaginary part of s so that's the result now here uh, xn so xn is a real number okay so uh, for every n xn is a real number so this series xn is basically a series of real numbers and similarly yn yn is a real number so it's a series of uh, real numbers and uh, so uh, we are talking about uh, the connection between the series of complex numbers xn plus out of yn and uh, two real series so one real series is uh, the sum of the real parts of this uh, uh, complex series and the second real series is basically the sum of uh, the complex parts of this complex series now the result says that uh, this complex series converges if or only if uh, the series constructed from the real parts is equal to the real part of the uh, convergent s and uh, the sum of the imaginary parts is going to be equal to the complex part which is equal to v okay so of this uh, sum now uh, let's see how to prove this thing now here uh, we are given of course uh, uh, two uh, real series and uh, if we want to check the convergence of this uh, real series then we have to uh, define the sequence of partial sums of this series now let's say uh, un which is basically the sum of the first n terms of this uh, uh, series uh, k is equal to 1 to infinity xk and uh, so un is basically the sequence of partial sums of this uh, series xn where n is equal to 1 to infinity and similarly on the same lines we can define a sequence of partial sums for uh, uh, the series yn okay, so in this case y, vn is going to be uh, the sum of the first n terms of the series y n n is equal to 1 to infinity okay so we have defined two sequence of partial sums now what should be uh, the next thing uh, because we want to relate these two real series with the uh, series of complex numbers so of course uh, the next observation is uh, that uh, these two sequence of partial sums so if we can add them in this way un plus out of vn then this is going to be uh, the sequence of partial sums of the complex series okay so xn plus out of yn where n is equal to 1 to infinity okay so this is a sequence of partial sums of our uh, complex series now this connection is very important because it relates the sequence of partial sum of the real part of the uh, complex series and sequence of partial sums of the imaginary part of the complex series with the sequence of partial sums of the complex series okay so this uh, uh, observation is very important and uh, uh, the rest of the discussion is based on this idea okay now let's move on to our uh, next discussion okay so where we are going to use this observation to prove our result now the result which we are going to use uh, is uh, the one that we have uh, discussed it earlier in our earlier discussions so it says that if we have a sequence of complex numbers and if this sequence converges to uh, some complex numbers u plus out of v then the real parts of the uh, sequence in other words xn converges to the real part of this uh, limit and uh, the imaginary part so the limit n approaches to infinity yn 
is going to be equal to the imaginary part of this limit okay so let's use this uh, observation and uh, let's go back to our calculation so so far we have related uh, the sequence of partial sums of xn n is equal to 1 to infinity and yn n is equal to 1 to infinity with the sequence of partial sums of the series xn plus iota yn n is equal to 1 to infinity now if s is equal to u plus iota v which is equal to xn plus iota yn n is equal to 1 to infinity then by definition of the convergence of infinite series this s must be equal to uh, the limit of the sequence of partial sums and what is the sequence of partial sums of this series it is basically un plus iota vn so this s must be equal to choose to infinity un plus iota vn and using the previous theorem that we have uh, uh, discussed in our previous discussions this happens if and only if the real part n approaches to infinity un approaches to u and the imaginary part limit n approaches to infinity vn must be equal to v and uh, this proves our result because uh, the limit of the sequence of partial sum un is in fact n is equal to 1 to infinity xn and the limit of the sequence of partial sum vn is in fact yn n is equal to 1 to infinity so that proves our result and it is going to be one of the uh, uh, basic but one of the useful results for relating uh, the series of complex numbers with the series of real numbers now uh, let's see uh, some examples okay so we have an example where the terms of the series are 1 plus iota n and multiplied with minus 1 raised to power infinity over n square now we want to check the convergence or the divergence of this series now of course uh, we have done uh, two uh, related things uh, for checking the convergence or divergence so one thing is the definition where we construct the sequence of partial sums and up to so on and the second thing is relating the series with some series of uh, uh, real numbers so uh, the second idea is going to be useful here now here we are separating the real and imaginary parts and as we can see that uh, the real part is 1 over n square it is one series and the imaginary part is basically minus 1 to power n over n n is equal to 1 to infinity so there are two real series here okay and we want to know whether this uh, first the real part the real series which consists of the real part of this uh, complex numbers and the the other real series which consists of the imaginary parts of these complex numbers so whether these two converges or diverges and we know from our knowledge of real analysis that these two series are convergent series and if these two series converges then using our previous result uh, the series uh, which is the given series of complex numbers is going to be convergent now it is a very simple example where of course if we don't use our previous result then it is going to be very very complex so for example if you want to first construct the sequence of partial sums here and then you want to check the convergence of that sequence of partial sums then it is going to be very complicated in this case but our previous result helps us in checking the convergence or divergence of this series now in this part we have uh, seen what is an infinite series and how to check the convergence or divergence of given series now the concept of series is one of the complex ideas and of course interesting ideas of mathematics so these two results that we have discussed in this uh, discussion are not going to be enough for checking the convergence or divergence of given series of complex numbers so in our further discussions we are going to explore further about some uh, uh, results and some different practical tests which will help us in understanding the convergence or divergence of a given complex series